Joe Alwyn teases one way Taylor Swift might be rubbing off on him. Look what she made him do. Joe Alwyn is finally watching one of Taylor Swift's favorite TV shows, The Office, which had never seen before. Only in our wildest dreams would we get to share a Netflix account with Taylor Swift. But for Joe Alwyn, it's just another night in with his girlfriend of four years. In a recent interview, Joe hinted that the superstar had taken the next step in their relationship by introducing him to one of her favorite TV shows of all time. And he's already hooked. While promoting his upcoming film The Last Letter from Your Lover, Joe was asked to name the last series he watched. The 30-year-old British actor told Studio Canal UK, well, I've got a long way to go, but I am currently watching the US office, which I've never seen before. As Swifties know all too well, Taylor is a longtime fan of The Office, which ran from 2005 to 2013 and is now streaming on Peacock. She even turned a behind-the-scenes video for her 2011 song Ours into a spoof on the workplace comedy. A decade later, Joe gets to see what all the fuss is about. Taylor has been so vocal about her love for the show that she sparked a friendship with one of its stars, Rain Wilson, who plays Dwight. Last year, she responded to a glowing review of her Evermore album by posting a gif of Dwight saying, Thank you. Rain responded and teased, I do not know who this is. Inventor of the Swiffer? Tay took it all in stride, replying, Touché. Now, it appears the singer's TV habits are finally rubbing off on her lover. As for the films in his queue, Joe said Nomadland is the last movie he watched that made him cry, saw Nomadland a few times. There were a few moments in that, that maybe got me a little bit. I love that film a lot. For his part, Joe has introduced Taylor to some of his most beloved albums while they've been dating. Taylor told Apple Music's Zane Lowe in December that she and Joe have always bonded over music. and that he's always the person who's showing me songs by artists and then they become my favorite songs or whatever. The pair co-wrote multiple songs together on Folklore and Evermore, including Exile, Betty, Champagne Problems, Coney Island and Evermore. Joe and I really love sad songs, the Grammy winner explained. We write the saddest. We just really love sad songs.
What can I say? Swapping music Rex for TV Rex? Sounds like a fair trade. Call it what you want, but we say it's true love. 